In this video, I am going to talk about the LS of testes. We begin with how to draw the testes. So, first here we draw the outer layers. Then inside that we make compartments. Now, there are about 200 to 300 compartments in each testes. So, here these are the compartments and the part that separates them is what we call as a septa. Now, once you finish drawing this compartments which are called as lobules, we now draw coiled structures inside that. So, coiled tubes inside these lobules. Now, there are about 2 to 3 such coiled tubes in each of the lobule. These coiled tubes are the seminiferous tubules. Now, this extends by straight tubules to form a network. So, here I am drawing the network. So, this is the network that you can see and this network then opens out outside the testes into the epididymis. So, that is the epididymis, the head and the tail and then that forms the vas deferens. So, that is the vas deferens. So, now we have completed the drawing of the LS of testes. Let us label it now. The outermost layer that is there is called as the tunica albuginea. This is the outer protective covering of the testes. Next to that is another layer which is called as tunica vaginalis. So, these two layers form the covering of the testes. Then we have the lobules inside. So, these are called as the testicular lobules. As I said before, there are about 200 to 300 such lobules in each testes. Inside that, we have the seminiferous tubules. Seminiferous tubules are the structures where the sperms are produced. So, sperms that are produced from here, the they move from the seminiferous tubules through the straight tubules to the rated testes. So, here you can see the rated testes is labeled. Now, these are the straight tubules. So, from the seminiferous tubules, it goes to the straight tubules and the straight tubules then form a network which is called as rated testes. The rated testes then uh, open out through the tubes which are called as vasa efferentia into the epididymis. That is the epididymis. The epididymis is the place where the sperms mature and from here it the epididymis forms another tube which carries the sperms to the urethra that is called as a vas deferens or sperm duct. This completes the LS of testes.